Hi friends and welcome back uh, to part two of my Encanto inspired Halloween costume. So um, I am creating a costume for Halloween as a last minute thing because obviously that's what we all do. Um, and so I, I was thinking about what I wanted to wear and I thought I don't want to just make a Halloween costume that I will only wear on Halloween. Um, I wanted to make something that I could mix and match and wear at other times other than Halloween but I could dress it up for Halloween and make a really cute costume. So I love the movie Encanto and I wanted to make a Mirabel costume and that's what we're doing today. Um, and my last video we made this beautiful self-drafted top with this um, embroidery at the bottom that I did on my sewing machine um, and this scallop detail um, and everything is on the video part one. Um, I hope you can go check it out but today we're going to be working on the skirt portion. I got some woven fabric. I got uh, three different yard pieces um, and I'm making like the ombre effect kind of like uh, Mirabel's costume. Uh, I'm going to make it, I'm just going to self draft it as well. It's going to be a tiered skirt. It's super easy. Um, if you want to make it as a costume you can do that and follow the same color guideline. Um, if you don't then you can make it with any fabric. You can make it, you can even make it with one uh, same fabric of different, just use different tiers but use the same fabric. Um, and stuff like that so it's gonna be super easy we just need some fabric and we need some elastic for the waist and that is it it is super simple and I'm super excited to get started the great thing about sewing your own costume like I said is you can make it customizable to yourself so as soon as we're done sewing the skirt and the top I'm going to be adding some little details that are gonna make it like more uh, like the um, like the actual dress that Mirabel wears. So I'll be adding a belt and I'll be adding uh, some little flowers and some little things to the skirt um, just to make it like a custom and I'll just be like pinning them on so then afterwards I can just remove them and wear the skirt with a different top, wear the top with jeans like I am at the moment um, and I can get a double purpose out of them. We're gonna start by measuring. The first thing we need to do is we need to measure around our waist to see how wide we want our skirt to be and then we also need to measure our length to see how long we want the skirt to be. Now I'm doing three tiers because I have three different colors but the tier is going the first tier is going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to start at a tier that's going to go from my waist to probably mid thigh and then I'm going to go from there from mid thigh down to like midi length and then I'll do another tier that's a little bit smaller. Actually the first tier might go like almost to the bottom of my thigh and so on and so forth so like the bottom tier will be a lot skinnier than the top tier um, and so what I'm doing is I'm gonna go ahead and take my measurements my waist and my length that I want to do for my skirt now if you want to do a midi length then you can you know shorten the tiers um, if you want to do just two tiers you can do that or if you just want to do one tier you can do that as well now I'm gonna go ahead and take those measurements and we'll come back and show you what things we need to add to those measurements to cut out our fabric all right I recorded this whole thing and I realized that I did you could not see my paper because I moved it all the way back here so I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna show you what I'm going doing with my fabric so I realized I only bought a yard of each uh, color so I when I measure myself at 29 I wanted to originally go to times two but I'm not gonna have enough because my fabric is a uh, 44 width so what I'm doing is a uh, hot 1.5 would be 43.5 and then I'm gonna allow it to just go ahead and have that extra half inch uh, for seam allowances to uh, sew the sides since I'm gonna cut two pieces that would be cutting two pieces of fabric would be 18 inch each fabric so I cut my yard in half because a yard is 36 inches and then for my second tier I'm gonna do whatever the width is but I want to cut my my fabric into three pieces so it would be 12 inches 12 inches 12 inches so that's three 12 inch pieces and then I'm going to sew them at the sides and then for my third tier I'm gonna cut my fabric into four pieces at nine inches and then I'm gonna sew the sides together and however much that width is that's how much I'm gonna gather to fit into each other now if I was just doing this uh, with just whatever fabric and not just you know bought one yard fabric then I would measure my waist I would go times two for that first tier I would go the length of however long I wanted the skirt to be plus a couple of inches for the waistband 
and a half an inch for seam allowance to connect to this uh, to the second tier and then on my second tier I would grab this 43.5 or whatever the times two would be and I would uh, times that by 1.5 again and then the length what that I wanted that second tier to be plus an inch for allowance half an inch for the top half an inch for the bottom and then my third tier again I would grab this number here and times it by 1.5 again and then the length that I wanted it to be plus half an inch for the top half an inch for the bottom so a total of one inch seam allowance so that's what I would do but these are the measurements I'm using because I'm only using a uh, yard for each one and I fit in a size um, medium slash large so um, these are my measurements so if you wanted to get a skirt you probably could get a medium slash large out of uh, one yard uh, cuts. Now my skirt might not be uh, super long, as long as I wanted it, um, but that's okay because uh, Miravel's skirt is not, you know, all the way to her angles anyway. So I think this, I think, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, I think this is gonna work. So let's get to cutting. One thing I'll say is a lot easier to cut it this way because I really just cut it at one in half and then the next one I'll cut in three and then thirds and then the other one will cut in fourths. So that's gonna be super easy. Yes, I usually wash my fabrics before I sew them up, but this was such a quick project. I just wanted to go ahead and get to sewing and not worry about the laundry. So that is why my fabric is not washed. But yes, I usually do recommend, I don't know if anybody's wondering that, but I usually do recommend washing your fabrics before you um, sew them up because they will shrink or bleed. They might shrink or bleed in the wash. So that's why. Now I've got all my fabrics cut up and you can actually go ahead and you could go on the sewing machine or serger and sew, raw, uh, sew those raw edges, all the raw edges first to finish them off. What I'm going to do is as I'm sewing them, I'm going to sew them with a straight stitch on my sewing machine and a half an inch seam allowance. And then I'm going to go afterwards to the edge and do a uh, serger edge um, to finish off the raw edges so my fabric won't fray on me. Um, you could do a zigzag stitch to finish them off or anything like that. The serger is just quicker for me. So now I'm just matching the fabrics right sides together. On my first tier, I only have to do one seam, I mean one seam on each side, so one here and one here. But on my other tiers, I'll have to piece every tier together. I'm gonna open that. You don't wanna sew those together because here's one tier. We're sewing them right sides together. Here's the next tier. I'm gonna sew them together. This is the end of that tier. Make sure they don't get uh, tangled up. And then the last tier on this one. All right, so sewing those. And on this side, we're, we're creating one big circle. We're gonna close it up on the other side. Then the third tier. There's the two ends. Grab the next section. We're gonna put it on that one end. And then here's the other end and place that next tier, one end on that end, the other end of that tier. Make sure that they don't get turned uh, like turned around, twisted. Then I'm gonna grab the other one, the other end, and then I'm gonna grab that first other end from the first tier and sew that together. And if you want to, you might wanna open them up and make sure that it's one full circle and that you don't have any fabric twisted. So let me go sew all those and then we'll come back. We'll just gather the top, attach to each other and that's it, it's super easy. You know, I mentioned not sewing, the side, not sewing them together to each other, yet I did that for my first one. So I had two small circles. Seam rip, here we go again. All right, next up, I'm gonna work on that first tier. I'm gonna work on the top of it, and we're going to create our casing for our elastic. I wanna actually have like a, 
a thicker casing and I'm gonna actually use two of these. You can use whatever size um, elastic you want, however much you wanna take up at the top, how big you want your waistband. I'm gonna use two three quarter inches because that's the, that's the elastic I have on hand right now. You can use a two inch elastic, you can use two half an inch, you can use three half an inch, however you wanna do it. The first thing you need to do for doing that is first we're gonna fold in that allowance, that quarter inch seam allowance, and then we're gonna fold down however much you need. So I'm gonna go a full inch. Actually, no, I'm gonna go a full two inches because then I'm gonna, that's gonna create a casing for one and then I'm gonna uh, sew a line right the, down the middle and here's my other elastic. I'm going to probably go down a little bit, sew a line right here at the top, like a quarter inch, so I have like a little fringe here at the top and then I'm gonna do insert my elastic I mean and then sew my other line here and then I'll be able to insert my elastic and it'll be you know right in there so it'll be one line of elastic here and one line of elastic here and I'll have two rows of elastic now if you just wanted to do like a two inch uh, elastic you would still fold down here the quarter inch and then you will fold down your two inches and top stitch here I like to top stitch at the top sometimes as well and then you have your um, casing to put your elastic in if you wanted to do three one um, half an inch elastics, then now you want to do like um, an inch and three quarters. So you have like a little bit of wiggle room and then you would do half an inch, make a line at the half an inch, then make another line at the half an inch and then you'll be able to insert those in there. Um, you want to leave a little tiny bit of wiggle room for the elastic to slide through nicely, uh, but you don't have to leave a ton of room because then it might jiggle around. You could also do a two inch elastic and then just sew on top of it and sew lines on top of it, which is what I've done before. But the two inch elastic I have right now is like a, an elastic that you use for the, an outer band so it's it doesn't look very good when you just um, stitch on top of it so I'm gonna use this elastic right here and I'm gonna do two of them so I'm gonna do, uh, sew one row in the middle and do two of them so that's what I'm gonna do all right so as I sew that first line and that second line, you wanna leave a gap where you're gonna insert those elastics through and then we'll close it up later. Now, while we're at it, I like to go ahead and measure, let me move this stuff. While we're at it, I like to go ahead and grab my um, skirt and measure, mark my halves. So that way, once I gather the bottom, piece the the second tier to attach to this one then I know exactly where to attach to if I mark those half so I'm going to do the same for my second tier what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my half my quarter so like my halves and my other points so first I folded my skirt in half so here's my half and then I folded it in half again so here's my quarters I'm going to mark here obviously I don't want to trim that so I'm just going to put a clip right there to remind myself and then on the other side I'm going to clip both layers one layer the other layer and these little clips are small enough that I will eat them in my seam allowance so you won't even see these they're just helpful because if a clip falls off you won't be able to know where it's at but if you do this then it won't fall off and then I'm going to do the same with the third now, because the third is huge, you can actually do more than just the four. Um, so you can mark all those dots and make sure you match them up to the bottom of the second tier. I like to do this before I gather it because then um, once it's gathered, it's, it's harder to find them. So if I have them now, then I don't have to worry about, about it. About it. So I'm gonna go sew out that waistband on the second tier. I'm gonna gather the top, um, gather it to fit where I marked my quarters. I'm gonna get, put in a gathering stitch. You can either gather it on your serger, on your sewing machine, whatever gathering method you prefer. So I'm gonna gather the top, and then on my bottom tier, I'm gonna go ahead and also gather the top because that's going to sew onto this. And then we'll come back and hem, or you can go ahead and hem the bottom of that last tier if you want to. What I might do is I might go ahead and while I'm over there, just serge the edge. So then that way I just have to hem up instead of double hem. 
if I do, if I start to the edge, then I can just fold it up. But if not, then I'll have to do fold up and then fold up again. So it's up to you however you want to do that hem. making my stitch as long as it'll go and I'm doing that gathering stitch. Even a long tail to help you gather. So here's my first tier with my stitches. I want to grab this second tier and I want it to be as wide as that first tier. So if you need to gather a little bit more, but my gatherings are pretty spot on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up all these points to the skirt. So now we just fit those right sides together, matching them up with my skirt. Now I'm going to use my clips and even everything out and clip it together because we're going to sew that those two together. I like to tie the beginning and end of my thread. That way it, my gathers don't come apart as I'm sewing. Sometimes they wanna slide. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and sew that and then surge the edge because I wanna sew that, I want that raw edge to be um, surged. Um, and then we're gonna do the same thing that we just did with these two layers, but adding the third layer to this and then sewing that on. Now we've only got two things left to do, which is insert the elastic through and then um, sew it closed and then hem the skirt. So I'm just gonna go, uh, since I searched the bottom, I'm just gonna go fold it up, steam it and top stitch it. And that should be all we have left to do. For the elastic, I'm gonna measure my waist and go two inches shorter than um, what my mes me waist measurement is and then feed them through. Then I'm gonna pull them and um, zigzag them, zigzag them, ziggy zag them together and close those gaps. I'm gonna put a pin right here so when I'm inserting the other elastic, this one doesn't accidentally go in too far. Oh no, I pinned myself and now I'm bleeding and it's getting on my skirt. All right, so now we're gonna sew that and then close that gap and hem the bottom. Alrighty friends, we finished this beautiful costume. I love how it looks, the skirt. I think it would be super cute on just some other type of fabric as well. I love the fullness of it. I think it looks so good. 
I can't wait to pair it all together with all the other things that I'm going to add to the costume uh, to make it a Maribel costume, Mirabel costume, and I will be posting that video soon, so make sure you check it out. Come find me on Instagram at Eloise.Ezra where we have a ton of behind the scenes of everything that's going on and a lot more help. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment, like, share, subscribe so you never miss any of the other tutorials. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.